Hi, this is Tab from Freefly. Uh, in the last step, we talked about tilt front to back balance. Now we're going to talk about tilt uh, vertical CG balance. Basically, what we're adjusting there is how high the camera sits in relation to this tilt axis. If you drew an imaginary line right through the center of this tilt axis, we're adjusting the camera's relative CG to that. Uh, this thing is balanced because we've been working with it, but to give you some examples, um, so these two clamps on the side, they, they free up these crossbars to slide up and down. So right now I'm going to slide this down a little bit. And I'm going to show you what a bottom heavy condition looks like. So it still looks at first glance like we're still balanced. Um, front and back balance is correct. But if I were to point the camera here, we, if this was ideally balanced, we'd want it to stay there. As you can see, when I let go, it swings aggressively back. That means the balance is too far down, too bottom heavy. It's causing it to pendulum back. To show the opposite effect, I'm going to go I'm gonna slide this uh, whole crossbar up quite a bit. So this is much too high. So you can see when it's perfectly level, it seems like the tilt balance is still pretty good. It wants to stay. If I give it a little tap to get it going forward, it wants to flop them over immediately. That means the, the, the balance with respect to this tilt axis is too high. So now let's get the balance uh, correct. So this thing's all messed up, let's fix it. So what I do is I'll support the hand under the camera here just to take the weight off a little bit so these are easier to slide. Loosen these two clamps up on the, uh, the tilt axis crossbar. And then you just want to slide these. You want to keep them even. I just slide a little bit at a time. And periodically, just, just let your hand go and see what it wants to do. So it's, it still wants to rotate t in the top heavy direction. So I'm going to keep sliding it down. So we're getting closer. It's not pulling as aggressively now. So we're very close there. So I'm going to clamp it down. And uh, so we go there. It wants to stay. The way we'll check on our tilt axis balance is we'll go to a variety of positions. And if it wants to stay at the, each of those positions, it means we're very close on tilt axis vertical CG balance as well as fore and aft balance. So I can basically tilt the camera in any rotation, any orientation, and it'll stay exactly where I, where I leave it when you've achieved proper tilt axis vertical balance and fore aft balance. And that's what we have here. So we're ready to move on to the next step. Thanks.